standing up over the window okay. shooting. Uh -huh. And I didn't even want to move. I didn't want to move too quick. Like, cause I'm like, oh my God, if I take the wrong step, I don't know if he can shoot something that's like super important. I don't know if he could shoot me and kill me. Like, Were you afraid for your life at that I time? I was really scared cause I had never been shot at before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's going on my YouTube fan? You really know what it is. It's your boy Benji Polo. Today, we're gonna be discussing Megan the Stallion interview, man. She had a interview on CBS. It was a touching interview. At this point, I don't even know what to believe in this case, man. You know, you got Tori saying one thing, you got Megan saying another. I'm not here to pick a side. I guess we'll see what happens in court. You know, I hope they really get the situation resolved. It's looking very messy, man. It's looking bad on Tory and from what I'm seeing and hearing, man, and things that are surfacing. But I ain't gonna chew y'all heads off. We're gonna get right into this interview. It's about 10 to 12 minutes. Hope you guys enjoy. You already know what it is. Before we do that, make sure you hit that like. Make sure you hit that subscribe. Leave a comment. Share. Hit that post notification bell so you can get notified every single time I drop a video. Let's get right into it. When did you know you were good at this? I feel like I wrote my first like rap when I was seven. And... I didn't tell my mama, well, I did tell my mama the rap, but I didn't tell her I wanted to be a rapper, but I saw her rapping, and I would go to the studio with her, and I would, like, sit in the waiting room, waiting at the door, listening to what she in there saying, and I'm like, okay, yeah, that's not fire. I like that. <laughs> Girl, I could do that at seven. I could do that. And when I got to college, everybody just knew me as the stallion, and she rapped, and I was like, okay, this is my identity. Yes, this is what we wanted. H-Town Raider, H-Town Raider, damn, I'm so proud to be your H-Town Raider, damn, I'm so proud to Five years after Megan Thee Stallion posted this dorm room video, she made her debut on the Billboard Hot 100 list with the song Big Old Freak. That same year, her mother passed away. She had already lost her father when she was just 15. I asked her what she had learned from her parents, a question that made her emotional. I didn't mean to make you cry. I was just curious about the impact and effect they've had on your life. They were my best friends. It was only the three of us all the time. Like when I went to school, I felt like it was a little different with me interacting with other kids. So like they would kind of pick with me a little bit. Like I was so tall already. They just really let me know like you can't never, you can't ever let somebody else, somebody else's insecurities make you insecure. I'm a savage. Yeah. In May 2020, Megan Thee Stallion's hit song, Savage, is inescapable, and so is she. Savage is, is everywhere. You are a huge success, which brings us to July uh, 12, 2020. Let's go there, Megan. That night changed everything for you. Rapper Tory Lanez has been charged with shooting artist Megan Thee Stallion during an argument. Megan Thee Stallion hit by multiple gunshots. There was an argument in the car? <sighs> It was an argument because I was ready to go and everybody else wasn't ready to go. Mm -hmm. But that's like normal friend yes. stuff. Like yeah. we fuss about silly, silly stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. But I never put my hands on anybody. I never raised my voice too loud. Like this was one of them times where it was like, it shouldn't have got this crazy. It shouldn't have escalated to right. the that it did. Can you just briefly walk us through what happened that night? It starts you at a party at Kylie Jenner's house. I had went there and we were just hanging out and I was ready to go because I had been there all day. So you guys end up in a car. You, Tory Lanez, your friend at the time, Kelsey, and his driver slash security. Mm -hmm. Tory Lanez, whose real name is Daystar Peterson, is a Grammy-nominated rapper and singer from Canada. Kelsey Harris was one of Megan Thee Stallion's best friends from Houston. There was an argument, and you get out of the car, right? At that point, the argument wasn't even with me. Like, the argument was with the two people in the back seat. So I asked the driver to pull the car over, like, I'm done with this. And I should have stayed out of the car. Like, I should have not got back in the car. Mm -hmm. And it was like, Megan, just get back in the car. We almost there. Like, just get back in. Mm -hmm. So I get back in the car. 
it's like it's getting worse. The like, arguing in the car. The arguing in the car is getting worse, and I don't want to be in this car no more. Like, because I see it's getting crazy. Mm -hmm. So I get out the car, and it's like everything happens so fast. And all I hear is this man screaming. Is he said dance? And he starts shooting, and I'm just like, oh my god. Like he shot a couple of times. Mm -hmm. And I, I so was is so he scared. in the car shooting from the car? Maybe he is he... standing up over the window okay. shooting. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even want to move. I didn't want to move too quick. Like, because I'm like, oh, my God, if I take the wrong step, I don't know if he can shoot something that's, like, super important. I don't know if he can shoot me and kill me. Like, Were you afraid for your life at that I time? I was really scared because I had never been shot at before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I looked down at my feet because I wasn't even the. This is a crazy situation, man. It is crazy, man. Adrenaline is pumping so hard. I'm not sure if he hit me. Like, I feel it, but I don't understand what's happening. So I looked down at my feet and I'm like, oh my God. Like, I'm really bleeding. So I like drop down and I crawl in somebody's driveway. Like I can't believe you shot me. And what is he saying, Tory Lane saying? He's after apologizing. He's like, I'm so sorry. Please don't tell nobody. I'll give y'all a million dollars if y'all don't say nothing. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Boy, oh, for the hush money? A million dollars? Bro. This is bad. Oh, like, what are you offering me money right now? Help me. Like, and if you're sorry, just help me. Like, but at that moment, we didn't even make it to, to the house. Like, somebody had already called the police, and it was like so many of them. It was helicopters. I was like, oh my God, we all about to die. Like, the George, the George Floyd incident had just happened. The police are definitely very much shoot first, ask questions after. So mm -hmm. I'm like, it's a hot gun in the car. I'm bleeding. I've been shot. They about to kill somebody. Like something bad is about to happen. Mm -hmm. So somebody hears the gunshots. They call the police. The police come and they say what to you? They tell everybody to get out get of the car. TMZ obtained video from that night. And then you can see the footage of me in a <laughs> swimsuit. Right. Living back with feet bleeding. And they say to you, what happened here? I don't remember everything they said to me, but I remember them asking me what's happening, what, what happened to you. And I didn't want them to kill any of us mm -hmm. or shoot any of us. Mm -hmm. So I just said I stepped on glass mm -hmm. because I didn't Why did want... you say that? Why didn't you say you shot me? I didn't. For some reason, I was just trying to protect all of us because I didn't want them to kill us. Like, even though this person just did, just did this to me, mm -hmm. my first reaction still was to try to save us. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't want to see anybody die. Mm -hmm. So I just said, I stepped on glass. So when I see people trying to use that against me, like trying to act like I'm lying, oh, she stepped on glass, she never got shot. I don't know who said I stepped on glass. I was mine to protect all of us. Mm -hmm. And I, sometimes I wish I really would have never said that. You wish you would have just told the truth. And I wish I would have told the truth, but I, if it saved all of us from dying, then that's just probably what it was meant to be. Mm -hmm. So when you told the police you stepped on glass, did they believe you? I don't know. So how did you go from... The glass, did you go to the hospital? So right they took that? me straight to the, the hospital, hospital and the police questioned me and I said it was just glass. You still stuck with that I story. I stuck with it, it was glass. And right as the officers were like, okay, we done with this, we leaving. The doctor came in and he was like, you know, you got bullets in both of your feet. Like you got fragments in this foot and it's like right on the back of your Achilles. And I'm like, there is a medical report that says that there were bullet uh, that you had been shot, mm -hmm. and the medical report also says that to this day you still it's have bullet, still bullet fragments, fragments in, in your my body. feet. And 
there are still many people as we sit here today, Megan, that don't even believe you were shot. That there is um, a hot gun in the car. Yeah. What, what else, what, what happened? In text messages obtained by CBS News, Kelsey Harris, the other woman in the car, texted Megan's security guard saying, help, Tori shot Meg. I really thought that we were all friends. And it's sometimes I feel like I put the blame on myself because when my mom passed, I just felt like I was looking for some type of family environment and I was letting so many people in and I didn't care who it was. I just wanted to feel like I got family and I got people that care about me and just I could hang out with everybody and I, I was just going through it. What was the nature of your relationship with Tory Lanez? Because he has led, led people to believe that it was a sexual relationship, that it was... Uh, that you two were dating? What was the nature We were of not family? dating. We what were really name? close. We were friends. We hung out like every day. And his mom passed too. So when I felt like we were bonding over oh. that. And did you have an intimate relationship with him? Like sexual? Yeah. yeah. Did you, have, <laughs> did you, Megan, did you have a sexual relationship with Tory Lanez? Yes, that's my question. Um, I didn't have a sexual relationship with Tory. Respected it. That um told it all. So why do you think he's putting out the story that the two of you had a relationship and that you're making the whole thing up? I think that he is trying to deflect from the fact that he c committed a crime. Tory Lanez pleaded not guilty to assault and weapons charges related to the shooting. We asked his attorney about Megan's allegations in the story. She responded that they look forward to addressing Miss Pete's claims including her inconsistencies, discrepancies, and omissions when his case goes to trial later this year. How has your life changed since you were shot? I feel like my anxiety is worse. I feel like my relationship with people is, it's gotten very cold because I'm not as trusting as I, I used to be. I was going to ask you, is it hard for you to trust people? Like, I've got this wall and I don't want to make any friends and I'm trying to be as nice as I can to everybody. My, I don't even probably, new people, I probably don't even hold a conversation longer than 30 minutes because I feel like every time I'm talking, I'm like on the verge of tears and I don't want to have to explain to strangers why I'm crying. Yeah, yeah. Half the time I just want to pick up the phone and call my mom and be like, what do I do? Like, <laughs> it's too much. I feel crazy. I'm sad. Like, and I feel like I have to hold it in because I have to be strong for so many people. What do you say to people that still don't believe that you were actually shot? I don't think any of this is for them. Like, it's for me. Like, I know this happened to me. Mm -hmm. And I'd rather it play out in court and the facts come out and everything comes out than me having to plead my case. And I, I'm a victim. Like, I'm the victim. Like, I don't, I'm not defending myself against anything. Like, something happened to me. And following a pretrial hearing earlier this month, Tory Lanez was taken into custody and later released on, on bail. A judge ruled that he had violated protective orders, including one that prevents him from sharing information obtained through the criminal proceedings. An attorney for the other friend in the car that night, her name is Kelsey Harris, she told, he told CBS News, my client is a private person, does not wish to make a public statement at this time, and added, I can assure you that my client has not been paid a dime by any party involved to remain silent, as suggested in social media posts. We also reached out to the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office about this case. They told us this. We believe the evidence substantially supports the charges and allegations, that the evidence will be borne out in court.